Hello everybody. How are we all doing? I am Loomis, and we're back to Heroes of Might and Magic 3. I'll be honest with you, I'm I'm enjoying this game, but this mission has me despairing. Where the uh gimmick for this mission is we're on a timer to capture the enemy capital before their reinforcements arrive and we instantly game over. And their capital is ludicrously well defended and timers are hard. So, uh... This is not my first attempt at this mission, but we'll see how this goes and uh, maybe figure out what we're doing from there. Maybe now we know a bit more about what, what's going on on this level. We can do better? Let's we'll see. Yeah, how is everybody this evening? You all doing good? Hey, Miki. <laughs> What's up, Miki Mac? You having a good evening? How how is the life? going on over here. You several several. There's not a strong force that Slink has got, even if he is my best warlord. Is he my best or is Arlek -like better? I think Arlek's -like better. Where's Arlek? -like? Oh, he's miles away. He's not in this equation. If we put you there, can you blockade that so that nobody can get past? No, I just fly through the gap. But maybe we can give you reinforcements that way? And you can deal with that intruder on our lands? You okay? That's good to hear. The life is air. Ugh. Life, why are you always going to be the problems? Why can't why can't life just you know get on board? Why can't it get with the system? It's not a lot of reinforcements, but who knows? Maybe it'll make the difference. Yeah, I'm, I'm alright. I'm a little bit sleepy, actually. I'm all, I mean, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. I'm always a little bit sleepy. Quiet down over there. I don't think we can block this pass. Yeah, no, this pass is too wide. I guess we just hold position and see what happens. Uh, I woke up a little bit early today, though. Otherwise, I'm good. I had a pretty good day. Nah. Uh, What are you doing down here? Are you collecting reinforcements? Or... I don't remember what was going on. Probably a bad sign. Maybe taking troops to the surface? I might have been taking troops to the surface. Guarding that though. 
Are you supposed to be guarding us? I need somebody to get troops to the front lines and back. That's what I need. I mean, this lady maybe? It doesn't look like she's doing anything important. Missing the times you had the dance academy. I didn't know you had a dance academy. What kind of dance? Alright, let's run these up to the surface. We'll deliver them and then we'll... We can, then we can head back. We delete a few, a few enemies along the way. We can best uh, a lot of lizard warriors with this, right? Maybe. Classical. Okay. I don't know enough about dance to really know what classical is. <laughs> that sounds cool. You don't do it anymore? I've never been able to do any kind of dance. It's a skill set that I presume will forever remain beyond my power. They wish to join. I'll accept, although... 40, damage 6 to 10, I don't know that... <sighs> I really wish this dragon was upgraded. Well, they've got the same health as the earth elementals, and greater speed and damage. Attack skill 10 brackets 20. Ah, okay. I've got higher attack skill as well. I mean, to be honest, it might be the troglodytes that are the weak spot. All they have going for them is numbers. And also being adorable. Okay. We have a visit each other that will dance. <laughs> Sounds good. I'll hold you to that. <laughs> okay. Someday when when failing at streaming is immensely rich and famous, we'll have we'll have fail con. And people will come from around the world to see the failures. I feel like I was saving up for something, but I don't know what. Might just be the guardhouse. I think it was the guardhouse. I mean, that's the thing that needs the most stone, right? It's either got to be the, the guardhouse or the dragon cave. 
And we don't we don't remotely meet the requirements for that. Yeah, it's gotta be the guardhouse. Start getting access to uh human soldiers. <laughs> Specialty, 350 gold. You, sir, are uh, high. Oh, I'm broke. Well, you gotta spend money to make money. Only about a thousand gold. There we go, that should be enough. He'll pay for himself. <laughs> the gold! Uh, I should probably take these units to be upgraded, I guess. And you can take them to the front lines. Every one of our ferrymen. <laughs> All right, let's end turn and see if they attack my guy. If they ignore my guy. If they attack the person I the person I really don't want them to attack with the low stats. Oh, I didn't mean to move there. I'm trying to think if there's a place I can position myself that will cost them more movement. Maybe there will stop them from going... I have to go a long way around. Okay, looks like they're running away. And slash or trying to sneak up on my city. Can you reach that? You can. Cool. In which case, it's about getting you some of the best troops for this f important fight. Z mm -hmm. gold! Never enough gold, Miki. It's always room for more gold. squad for the moment, I guess. <sighs> I think the pit fiends have more health than the troglodytes. Not you. Alright, Sinker, let's see if we can take this guy on. Has any exciting stuff happened while I've been away, Miki? You been up to anything? I have no spell points, actually. Cast Bloodlust on my Cerberi, I guess. need to go.
Please in panic. Cowards! Weaklings! Betrayal! This force is a lot less fearsome than I was worrying. Okay, Miki. This is a pretty good skill, we'll get that one. here and she's gonna follow along behind you so you need the check out okay yeah always a, a good idea to get your follow-up checkups done pack of diamond gold Into scatter, okay, I'll chase him down. Yeah. Is it just an appointment where there like tests to be done or anything? National spells reduce 95%. Okay, I'm not gonna cast a spell on them. So, like, if the doctors need to do tests, then it's normally worth. taking somebody along just in case. You never, you never know how, quite how you're gonna feel after the test, right? Test in my time. Uh, having an MRI wasn't bad, but they like an MRI feels really weird. I think it was a, was it a work day when I had the MRI, so I just went back to work and waited until I felt better before I went home. I think. Or did I drive home from work? I don't remember now. See, the thing with an MRI is, uh, uh, sorry, it wasn't an MRI, it was a, a CAT scan. They're similar, but... There's, uh, a few small differences. But yeah, for a, a CT scan to work, they have to, like, inject your body with this, uh, this dye that shows up on their scanner. And then they put you in the scanner and they, like, scan your body and they can see your blood and stuff because it's got the dye in it. Check for problems with your heart and the like. And it's not painful or anything, but the dye... Having the dye in your body feels weird as heck. You get, like, uh, tact what they call tactile hallucinations. Like... You're hallucinating, but it's not things that you see or hear, it's things that you touch. Like, my whole body felt like I was covered in blood, which was weird. So it wasn't painful or even, it wasn't even scary, but it was, it was odd.
And of course, the biggest, uh... We don't want to stress her out. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, just consider whether you need somebody, whether you're gonna need somebody to give you, like, a safe lift home or anything. Yeah, they, I mean, they they warn you about it, like, what the nurse told me is that a lot of people think that they've wet themselves during the test, because they feel, the, the most common hallucination is warm fluid on your skin. So you get that around your stomach or your legs or whatever, and you feel like you're in a puddle. People think they've had an accident, and it's, they haven't, it's just the, the dye making their skin tingle funny. But yeah, I, I got it in my hands. Because uh, I'm like sitting like I'm lying down like this because I've got the the pumps going into my wrists above my head, and I got it in my hands and they were just they just felt really warm and damp and sticky, and it just felt like blood like there was just blood gushing out of my arms all over my hands, like I I knew it was just uh just because of the dye it wasn't it didn't freak me out or anything but it was it was definitely weird. Yeah, if it's just an appointment, I wouldn't expect them to do any real tests. They normally let... I mean, it might be different where you are, but... General experience, they normally let you know if they're going to do anything fancy. Plus, I don't know if you can, like, eat... I think I had to starve myself before my MRI. My CT scan, sorry. And of course, the the worst uh, test I've ever had done was a bronchoscopy, where they like put a camera down your throat and into your lungs, and that's uh, that's a real unpleasant one. I'm glad I got somebody. I'm glad I got somebody to go with me for that one because there's no way I could have driven home after that. Yeah, yeah, that that one's horrible. To be to be fair, you you. Uh, well, you have the choice of whether you want sedative or not for it. But A, it's the crap kind of sedative. It doesn't put you to sleep or anything. It just makes you kind of confused and you don't really remember it afterwards. It's like, meh. And B, if you take the sedative, you have to, you have to lie in a hospital bed for four hours until it's out of your system before you can go home. Like, I got, I got things to do. I gotta be lying in bed for four hours. I'll have 15 minutes of absolute terror and then go home, thank you. Rather than 15 minutes of vague confusion and then 4 hours of lounging around. I'm, I'm... I don't have time for this nonsense, okay? I'm... I'm kind of a big deal. We have like a good spell for disabling archers. I don't know what we do. Blind, maybe? Want to be knocked out completely. It was mostly just really, really weird. Well, I was gonna say it's mostly just really, really weird. It was also really, really unpleasant. So. There's something that, like, it's it's not painful as such. But the thing is, they have to stop your body from, like, freaking out. About, uh, because your organs do not react well to being touched, is the thing. Hmm. I thought that would do more. Lizard men are... oof. These lizard men are a lot stronger than I thought they were going to be. Uh, I want to be awake and aware. 
Yeah, they, yeah that's fair. Yeah, the, the thing is, they so in order to stop your lungs from freaking out and choking you when the camera goes inside them, what they basically have to do is pump anesthetic down your throat, so your mouth goes numb, your throat goes numb, and your lungs go numb. And it's yeah, it's it's unpleasant. Because you get you, I mean, you've got puddles of anesthetic in your lungs, and also it makes everything feel cold. And you know, when things go numb, they feel cold and damp, right? And it just feels like your lungs are full of water. Yeah, it's it's really unpleasant. Like it doesn't doesn't hurt, but it's really unpleasant. And it's weird for something to be both. I mean, it's the thing is, while you, while it's happening, you can breathe absolutely fine but you feel like you're drowning. And like your, your brain just freaks out about it, even though... even though consciously you know it's perfectly safe. So yeah, that was... Uh, I, I got through it, it wasn't... It wasn't that bad. But uh... I wouldn't have wanted to drive home afterwards. I was in no condition to that for that. Def definitely freaked me out. But yeah, you know, it's a thing I've done once and I never need to do it again, so yeah. I've had that experience. I mean, I might need to do it again someday. You know, I've, I've done it now and now we know what it feels like. I don't need to do it for the experience anymore. I don't need to have weird medical procedures done for fun. It's that because I've already done it. <laughs> Because that's absolutely a thing that I'd be doing otherwise, of course. Yeah, I don't know. It's not a long procedure, it's like 15 minutes, you just get through it. It's unpleasant, but it beats the alternative. Wouldn't be driving to or from the dark or hospital in any situation. Oh, okay. Do you drive, Miki? You've mentioned going places by car before, but I don't know if you, uh, if you normally get a lift. Okay, well none of those are native to this place. I kind of wanted him to just have things that you can get from there. those over to her and she can reinforce this guy, I guess, as needs be. Right, 
yeah, that, that's absolutely fair, Miki. I, I can drive too, but I hate driving. Pretty much just drive to work and back, and that's the only driving I do. Like, it's just... I don't know. Driving's spooky, right? There's a lot going on when you go for that drive. My main thing is that that I'm bad at navigation. Like, I can't I can't focus on driving and figure out where I need to go at the time. So I only drive to places where I've memorized the route, pretty much. Otherwise, I'm scared of getting lost. I I have no navigation skills at the best of time. Undead regenerating. Okay, so I figure we need to shut down these things as quickly as possible. Yeah, I'm fairly sure that's not where I ordered you to attack from, but okay, we'll roll with it. Can't reach those, so... Go after the vampires. I know, right? People don't seem to get that about about driving. Cutting on this huge weight of metal at, at ridiculous speeds. You think people would be more careful about that, but they're not. Mm, yeah, everybody on the road is an idiot. Is, is my experience of other drivers. I remember giving my rambling on to my sister about this, about traveling along a ridiculous speed, and she's like, and she got off and was like, I'm only doing 30 miles per hour. I'm like, I don't think you realize how fast 30 miles per hour is. You know how many things in, in nature go 30 miles per hour? It's not a lot. Some of the apex predators, like uh, a cheetah, one of the fastest animals on the planet, can run at like 30 miles per hour for a couple of minutes and then is absolutely exhausted. For a car, that's, that's cruising speed, that's slow. They go way faster than that. Cars should be terrifying. It's a weird thing about humans' brains that they're not freaked out by cars. Okay, we're gonna give you the gogs. Take fire elementals. I know we end up with a bunch of low level troglodytes, they're not doing much for us. Some stone goblins. Alright, we'll take the stone golems and take the familiars back to defend that fortress. Anything else good here? Got some gargoyles. I think they're better than anything we've got. Got these Nagas. There's only two of them, but they're quite strong. Yeah, I might leave as is. Okay. Where are we heading now? Maybe it's time to go take on this pack of vampires. See if we can get that magic sword. Yeah, absolutely, Miki. I say you'd think people would be more careful with uh, 
with cars considering how scary they should be, but people are not. And it's upsetting. Yeah, there's a, a lot of really bad drivers on the road. It's one of the uh, things my driving instructor kept telling me. Just, just assume that everybody else on the road is an idiot. Even if, even if you're wrong, it's better to be careful. great driver myself, but I'm at least a careful driver. I've never been in any kind of accident. Artifact merchants. Alright. We'll, we'll build it. We'll see what's... Uh... Alright, nobody in the city. Take reinforcements to the front lines. Well, the front lines are coming to him, so. Yeah. As I say, I've driven to work and back plenty of times. That's a, a familiar journey, I'm comfortable enough with that. But I certainly wouldn't want to go, like, traveling far on my own. I'd get lost. I am very stupid and get lost easy. Take you back here. We'll take those off of you and give you the gods. Also, maybe the familiars. Don't know what we're doing with the nagas and the stone gargoyles. We're probably going to go upgrade the troglodytes. It's going to be our next mission. and a campfire? Okay. Whoa, okay. These guys just traded a, a million spells. to bed already, Miki? Okay. <laughs> Have a good night, Miki. Thanks for stopping by. It was good catching up with you. Hey, CS, how are you doing? Yeah, I had a good weekend, thanks. Well, I don't know if you know, I've been on holiday for the last week, so yesterday was mostly spent on a train. Which wasn't the most thrilling Sunday I've ever had in my life. But in general, I was, I'm doing good. Thank you for the luck. Really appreciate it. I hope you had a good weekend, too. <laughs> good night, Miki. 
Catch you next time. Are you guys the unupgraded ones? If so, I'm probably going to have to take these back at some point to level them up. Uh, I got some troglodytes. Some orcs. I mean, this is a... Decent, if rather modest unit. I mean, that many troglodytes is better than the spearmen, I guess. I wish you could, like, select a guy on the map, but instead you have to scroll down through here to find that picture. I'll put the spearman over there. Maybe consolidate that army. useful down here. Let's see if we can send them that way. Oh, I keep thinking for some reason this is a spearman place and it's not. Well, those pikemen did not need to be there then. I don't know what this lady needs to be doing then. Camping here until his troops to take to the front lines, I guess. See if this guy can take down those vampires. So trying to recover from working all weekend? Ooh. Oh, the vampires want to join. Yes, please. I don't think they're actually better than anything that I've got. Uh, maybe better than these stone golems. Definitely better than these stone golems, and there's more of them too. Ugh, we have to buy the artifact? Alright, fine. Defeated a bunch of vampires for this. It should be free. Outrageous. I feel like I've been swindled. Uh, I went up to Aberdeen in Scotland. I've got family up there. Uh, you know Bursum, who's sometimes in stream chat? My cousin lives up in Scotland. I tried to visit him once a year. Let's put you there and then put you to sleep. And you need to get back to your post. Get ourselves a barracks. More troops coming in. Not a bad thing. Never a bad thing. Uh, this is kind of cheap. Be useful if we're ever attacked. I'm going to win a fight if we're ever attacked anyway, but you know. Pack of Medusa Queens. Ah, uh, dang it, I was hoping they'd be willing to join us. We've got some Medusas. They could have merged. 
Although I think these are the upgraded Medusas, and we've got regular Medusas. So they wouldn't have merged, they'd have replaced. Which is still not necessarily a bad thing. smoothly. Setting packs of dragons onto blinded enemies seems to be a solid battle strategy. If you ever find yourselves like trapped in a medieval environment, struggling to survive, try and remember that technique. Just, just get yourself a pack of dragons, blind your enemies, and then breathe fire at them. But, uh, it works really well. Definitely, whenever possible, have dragons in your army. And 100% uh, make sure that you're only fighting blind people. So Alexander the Great did it. He never fought anybody you could see straight. And his dragons were top notch. Residents of the towers who construct a great skyship on any hero who brings them the Grail. That sounds like a complex plot line that I don't even know where to begin on. But wh where are the towers? What's a skyship? The 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 Grail? We've got a Grail quest now. Don't know what to make of this. Like the the Holy Grail? Cup of the Carpenter? Is that in this game? I have to say, I wasn't expecting that to be in this game. Probably buried somewhere, and I need to find a treasure map or some such. Okay, let's uh, see what reinforcements we can pass over. Not a huge amount, sadly. Uh, we can reinforce a few units. I guess that's. I think the most of what we got, I guess. Station you over here. Oh, hey, it's the first day of a new week. That means we need to uh, hire people. There's an artifact there. Lots of stone golems. Hmm. It'll be good to unlock, but I don't know that I can get an army there conveniently. Oh, wasn't I supposed to be having somebody guarding that that one camp? This play oh, okay. It's now guarded by lots of gold golems. Never mind. Oh no, this this place we can get to. Uh, can we get together a modest army somewhere? Got a bunch of little armies wandering around, reinforcing the big armies. Maybe I can merge them. Make another big army. Well, another big enough army.
Let's head you over here. We can at least go to the refugee camp and recruit some stuff. We got everything in motion. Into scatter. We need the XP, I'm afraid. We're gonna, we have no choice but to run them down. Say we let them, we hold back and let them approach us. We don't actually have a lot of range of firepower, just got these wood elves. Still, I don't think they've got any any ranged attacks at all, so. We might as well hold our ground for the moment. Bloodlust on uh, the vampires. Oh no no oh oh no nope. Okay, everything went very bad there. I accidentally clicked on skip turn instead of cast spell. So instead of unleashing the full force of my devastating vampires, I told my vampires instead of amplifying the full force of my deadly vampires, I told my vampires to do nothing. Brilliant tactical maneuver on my part, with only one flaw. Oh, that's, that's perfect. We could have finished that there, but no. You gotta have low morale. Just because I'm incapable of making the most basic of tactical decisions. Wow. Opened up some paths. Let's head north and see what's out there. Let's see how many troops we can recruit. So good. I don't think we're gonna have enough for this uh, this last place. Yeah. Still, we got most of the way there on on this turn. We should pick the others up on the following turns and then focus on upgrading some more buildings. Now this hero doesn't even have a spell book. Oof. Unicorns. Will you join us? No, mostly you're just going to be very angry with us. That's upsetting. I 
think we can afford to hold our ground for one turn. Let our ranged units do their work. Yeah, just barely, but we can. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, these are great. These are war unicorns. That's why they're a little faster. Hey, the petrified. Ah, uh, petrification ends if you attack. That was a waste of petrification. How am I supposed to know how petrification works? Why are there no tool tips in this game? Why well, they always got to go for the range units? It's almost like those are vulnerable and important. I don't like it when my enemies show strategy. They could be very stupid, that would be nice. Still, all in all, that turned out very well. Basilisks. I don't like that things are wanting to fight us instead of cowering in terror. We've got ourselves a defensive fort formation. This will, will surely work great. Take full advantage of our magic that we don't have. And our... Archery, which we... I mean, we have archery. We just don't have a lot of it. next turn, so I guess we might as well counter charge. I keep checking our magic as though at some point we're gonna have somehow regained our spell points. We've not even got familiars, so I could dream of regaining spell points. The vampires won't stand on this square with a skeleton there. Skeletons of impassable ground. They're too spooky. Nobody, want, nobody wants to get tangled up with a skeleton. Imagine the consequences. What if they spook at you? Sad times over here. Those guys are apparently not enjoying their work today. Alright, there we go. Should go back to this fairy room and get more luck. Since it's right there, you know? 
Uh, let's see, you've got your earth elemental. Okay, cool. Head off to your next thing. Fire elementals. I think you're already asleep. That's fine. I don't know what I was doing with you. Heading back down here to guard this place, I guess. Maybe we can get enough forces to beat lots of stone golems. They're just going back to base to upgrade stuff. There we go. And it was this place that had things that I'd not recruited yet. Unless I put you up front, I guess. We else can collect the imps, upgrade them, and take them to the front lines. If at some point we're incredibly not busy. Some of the things are not bad, but we're better off upgrading stuff if we can. But offense, I guess? Yeah, we can build any. Oh, we can build a little bit here. Alright, we'll build a griffin tower so they start spawning. But we don't hide all the monks here either, apparently. Some sulfur. Lots of gold golems. Someday I'll do something about you. Someday. Would you like to recruit diamond golems? I mean, yes, but. I don't think they're better than anything that we've already got. I'll send somebody else to ride over there and approve those. And I have one guy who was like not really doing anything. units, well that's a, a huge waste. Oh well, they didn't manage to hit us next turn, so now is our time to attack them. Hmm. Smoothly done. Masterfully executed. City. Right. Some methods to capture. Close in on it. Several champions. A refugee camp. Troglodytes. I mean, no. I'm not gonna fit in my squad, but it's good to know that they're there, I guess. Alright, let's go after these champions and we can get this stuff next turn. Preliminary de deployment stuff is a, uh, it's a funny dance. A 
Our soldiers can walk right up to the enemy as long as they end their turn back in our base. Turn, but I don't know if we can reach them, so we might as well get our defense start up. Really, these guys are closer than these guys? I'll take that shot. Panicking is not tactically advisable, guys. Don't do that. Sadly, they've got the initiative, because they're superior range. But, uh, now we can begin turning the tide. Man, these guys are tough. I think we can beat these guys and get the axe that they're guarding, but I don't know that we're going to be doing much afterwards. I'm waiting for reinforcements, I think. Yeah, thanks for panicking, guys. That, uh, that really helped, though. Tip, never fight champions. Got a good chunk of XP out of it. Alright, next time we can capture a lot of stuff though. It's not all bad. Yeah, you're not doing Important, right? Head over here and guard this refugee camp. Griffins and the monks. Get the production bonuses first, because we can always upgrade things later. I think that's probably the play. Build anything else exciting? Manticore there, uh, yes, please. Okay, can't afford them this turn. Well, we can probably sell some sulfur that we're not really using. How much is, it? How much is a manticore? Oof, those are steep, steep. I need a little bit of sulfur in it. I don't think we're using these gems for like anything. We can sell these. We might need them if we want to upgrade a uh, a, a mage tower, but otherwise, it's enough to get the manticore. Cool. Okay. Well, uh, yeah, we we're making progress. I think we're doing better this time than we were last time. We've managed to be a bit more aggressive early on, capture some more territory. We just have to see where this goes. It depends if the enemy makes a nasty counterattack on us. But yeah, I'm going to take a quick break there, guys, and I'll be back in five minutes or so. So I'll see you all in a moment. We're back, everybody. Let's press on with this timed mission and see how disastrously wrong everything can go. We're almost at the end of the first month. So I guess we've got another. We've. I guess we've done alright in securing our core territories. We've got another month to secure the outskirts, and then one last month to prepare our 
last desperate assault on the enemy fortress, which will inevitably fail because that thing is OP as all heck. Good times. Can we capture this place? It doesn't appear to have a general. It does have a, a horde of pikemen, though. Well, let's see what happens. How many is a horde? 56? I don't know that I'd call 56 a horde. A host, maybe. not do anything while my dragons leap on these crossbowmen. Manticores can fly, right? How we get over that wall? I doubt the basilisks can. They'll be at the mercy of the uh, the catapult, but we've got a lot of things that can just get straight in there. Are you kidding me? My black dragons? The immortal, invulnerable force that cannot be matched on any battlefield just panicked? They could have wiped out both these units in one shot, I'm pretty sure. Yep, there they go. Fortunately, the enemy were kind enough to attack the black dragons for me. these guys until the uh, the black dragons were ready. Okay, no casualties. That went startlingly well. There we go, this place now has three monks to defend it. Spectacular. Uh, we should really hire somebody else here. A holders? Basic leadership, basic resistance. I'll hire the wizard. At least I'll have some spells to back up the locals. This place, place doesn't have all the defensive options, so that's got quite a few. But it's immediately going to bring us in a lot of money, which is real nice. Oh yeah, let's get the Citadel. Start defending this place. Okay, well, that's really promising. Now, but nothing that can be immediately upgraded. And nothing we can. Oh, we can upgrade the monastery. Yes, please. Okay. Yeah, can't grumble about that. Let's have you ride on then. What else is happening around here? There's a pile of gold over there. Probably worth picking up. 
Mercury. Delicious Mercury. Centaur's axe. Not as good as this. We'll have to send somebody to fetch it. To be fair, this army needs reinforcements. I just don't know who's gonna be in a fit state to deliver them. I mean, she's got the fire elementals. So a decent force lingering somewhere that we can collect along the way. Yeah, maybe these. Especially since he's already got some other demons. Okay, make your way up there and collect some troops and we'll take you to the front lines with them. Would always like to recruit red dragons, thank you. It's hard to imagine a scenario in which I would not want a red dragon. To get that treasure chest and free up my other guy to do something more useful. Oh, you know, we could actually visit this refugee camp you know, and get those troglodytes. Lots of royal griffins. I don't think the, trug the troglodytes are not going to be a game changer. But 14 rubbish soldiers are better than zero soldiers in most situations. Okay. Still have royal griffins. I don't know if we can actually win this fight. Our army has gotten worn down too much. Ooh. There's a lot of movement speed. My elementals are new to bloodlust, of course. It's a little weird that uh, you can't cast positive fire spells on fire creatures. Space in the army after this one. Yeah, that's that's the the way to navigate that. So I wanted you to do that. Still out of magic. I mean, we're always going to be out of magic. I think. I think that's the new permanent state of affairs. Those regain one extra mana per turn items, they sound ridiculously weak, but uh... That one extra mana does add up. Okay, what are you doing? Give this guy the things that you can give him. Back to your station, I guess. Again, in the 
those stone golems to the front line. If I could go do it getting a lot of these things to the front line, but... Worth holding off until we can upgrade a few things. Okay, move here and see if there's anything else going on. Oh, it doesn't look like it. Did I remember to have him stop off at the refugee camp? I don't think I did. Have you not got this one yet? Oh, that one guy needs a, uh, a spell book, doesn't he? There we go. He else needs spells. Have you all got them? Cool. Upgrade the monastery here, it's not bad. Alright, I need some... Oh, I've not moved my uh, my best guy, have I? Hello, what have we here? A pack of war unicorns. Hmm. Yeah, those would be worth going after. Can't reach us on the first turn. So we want to cast probably precision for our three units, and we hold our ground just for the moment. Okay, well they're here now, so uh, I guess we go in. The Manticores cannot see. Can they not navigate by scent? They've got lion heads. These guys can't reach anything spectacular. Put you here so they can't charge the evil eyes. to reach the evil eyes. Leave, no, leave the blister alone. I that was expensive. Okay, that wasn't so bad. We kept some 
some stuff out of it. Several champions. How many several? That looks like a horrible fight in the making. Alright, well, we're taking everything except the Magogs to the front lines, I think. Money, please. We should be able to reach that next turn, and then it'll restock the turn after. Perfect. Requisites have been met. Nice. That lets us work towards some new good stuff. Uh, we'll upgrade the marksman just in case we ever get attacked here. Make a pretty big difference. And what do we got going on over here? See who can take on these champions. Eight of them? That doesn't sound insurmountable. Mostly just the they are ridiculously strong aspect that's the problem here. Also, as always, we have no magic for this unit. Troglodyte. He was so harmless. Okay, well, not much to do here other than have a, a slog it out brawl. Troops, we got through it. And tactics are basic offense. Offense is a pretty good one. We'll add that to his skill list. Let's see what else is going on here. Dwarven treasury. Pack of greater basilisks. Cutting a sulfur dome. I'm going to go ahead and assume that the uh, the Dwarven tre Treasury is guarded to Hackenback. But we'll probably get a lot of money if we capture it. Did 
Did I already go there? Hmm. Oh well, should we start next turn? Can we take those basilisks, I wonder? If we can, that would open up a much better supply line. Yes, I'll take those diamond golems, please. And then you'll be in charge of that place and this uh, windmill, I guess. one goes. Pretty much comes down to can the uh, five elementals solo this encounter. Oh, I did not mean... okay, I clicked start combat instead of uh, next creature. So that's a, that's a good start for this fight. I mean, I engaged in a brilliant divide and conquer tactic that has uh, split the enemy forces, allowing us to defeat them in detail. That's what, that's what happened here. Frankly, I'm a tactical genius. Aside from the fact that I just blocked this pass, but... Cool. You know, that's, a, that's an adequate counterplay on their part, but it won't change the outcome of this fight. There we go. This army continues to bleed out piece by piece, but... Supply line is open. It's going to take a couple of times to get those units up there, mind, but. Things are happening. Plans are in motion. The gears of war turn once again. Elsewhere. Stables. Useful in a general sense, but not in an immediate sense. Buy the stables if I can't find anything else. I can't find anything else. Because we've not got no stone. No. Mage's gold. Which we can't get because we've got no stone. Stone seems to be the most valuable of resources. stuff, but to be honest, I think I'm better off putting my stone aside for getting this dragon cave next turn. Oh, 
First month has passed. Reinforcements. There's a lot of spells moving around. Uh, she should take that axe as well, I guess. I would think we can. Any luck, they'll join us. We'll be taking the place of these regular demons. I, I should have given them to her and sent them off to be upgraded. I didn't know that they were going to join us, to be fair. New week, new recruits. And you need to go get those imps. Oh, you can't leave the fort because it's... Okay, interesting. I didn't realize that was a rule, to be honest. Hmm. I can work around this, it's just not very convenient. Just need to give the imps to the wandering lady. Let's focus on what matters here. Can I get the dragon cave finally? Yes! Troops after that big expenditure, but good start. Once so we can upgrade them, we'll have a real force to take to the surface world. We can save up a little bit more money. over here, I guess. Several wizards. Yep, still need that XP. I think. What level are you? 
what's the max level for this campaign? Needed the XP. Uh, I'll take expert states, please. A few things going on around here. Pack of liches. That's all, which is really useful, so I think we're gonna head that way. This guy I'm gonna take towards the dwarven treasury. I'm assuming there's going to be a heck of a fight in there, but I think it's going to be worth it. So we give her the imps to do whatever she pleases. And then you can safely go in there and that frees up some travel room for our overloaded generals, I guess. Where did it take you? Yeah, sure, I'll go ahead and do that. Our troops a little. See how these liches handle. Pretty sure our dragons can take them. Yeah, we'll engage them because we still need more XP. Not max level. You need to keep uh, keep leveling up. Uh, I have no idea if these guys are ranged or not. I'm gonna guess that they are. What is? Okay. He collected it. His arm fell off for a second there, but he went and picked it back up. That was interesting. Look, it happened again. It's, I think it's if I interrupt his animation at just the right time. Yeah, if I interrupt his animation at just the right time, his arm just floats in the air until he puts his arms up again and reconnects it to his elbow. I assume that's not intended behavior, but to be honest, it seems pretty legit. Power liches. Much stronger than regular liches. Can you blind an undead? Yeah, I'm about to shoot a whole bunch of lasers at it. I'll get unblinded anyway. They death clouded my dudes. Disgraceful. They deserve the ultimate dishonor of being killed by my ballista.
lots of demons. Free XP is what I'm seeing. Come, throw yourselves on my swords. Freeze in panic. I I don't understand why, but okay. And I'm sure it's very terrifying for you. Being miles away from a tiny group of enemies and watching dragons rip them to pieces. Right. I'm sure there's I'm sure there's a way that could go wrong for you. I can't see it myself. So perhaps your tactical acumen outranks mine. Okay, let's uh, let's go rob the dwarven treasury. This should be hilarious. Okay, there's a hundred dwarves. Be honest, I can see this going badly, but uh, I'm gonna do it anyway. Nobody can stop me. Do what I want. I don't have any range units, I just noticed. Unless the. The Yoga Magi are probably ranged, right? So I can... Oh no, they're not... Not ranged. So I can either blast an enemy or bloodlust a, an ally. That's a pretty big unit. I'm gonna, I'm gonna attack. I assume one Ogre Magi casts uh, Bloodlust as well as 25 of them do, but 25 of them certainly hit harder in a fight, so... I'm trying to take a unit off the field. Preserves counterattacks that way. Yeah, completely out of magic as usual. They attack a different unit just as I cast Bloodlust on these. Ah, eh, whatever. I think this fight's over. We lost a few people, but in general that went a lot better than I was expecting. Five crystal and five thousand gold. It's not bad. Maybe a little disappointing for uh, the Dwarven Treasury. Okay, I'll take it. Stored spell points to maximum. And yet the blue bar is still like nine nigh empty. Oh no, he has got ninety spell points. What that say, is his maximum like ten and that's why I never can cast spells with him. There's an enemy city there that is not well defended. That is useful information.
Yeah, she actually needs to go down here. Just collect those fire elementals. That reminds me of the other thing I need to be doing if there's room. Yep. Let's go get this guy some imps. Troops are left to recruit. Lots of them, mostly. Okay. Here we've got enough iron and wood to sell, but that's useful for so many things. I need that for buildings after I've done getting enough troops. I'm trying to keep twenty, like twenty of each resource, and then the excess I'm selling. Enough for any structures I might need to build. So I've still got a lot of construction going on. Oh, this guy? Yeah, let's put him to bed. We can actually get through there. I don't think we would be able to first. Well, I think there's a. Is that. Library of Enlightenment. It says you learn much, but we didn't actually seem to get anything. Oh, okay. We got plus two to everything. Wow. And there's a bank. Let's go rob it. Wild Willow Rampart. That seems to be very lightly defended. Let's take it. it doesn't even have a wall. Take those archers off the field and let everything else come to us. nice to live in a world where these little fellas could fly, but admittedly their wings are ridiculously tiny. More suited for like hopping along, which is, to be fair, what they do. The vampires do such good work. Okay, well, uh, 
We got ourselves a forest place? This is the first time I've had one of these. A mystic pond. Small random number of resources. Ooh. Dwarf cottage. Battle dwarves. Centaur stables. A homestead for wood elves. Enchanted spring. Ooh. Dendroid archers. Can't build unicorn glades or green gra or dragon cliffs, but there's a lot of fun stuff here. Hey, first aid tents. These are actually really useful. Ah, mystic pond or town hall. Let's go to the town hall first. Pay that should pay for itself quite quickly. Okay, we've got dwarves and centaur captains available for hire. Mm. Ah, good, there is a tavern. Specialist in harpies, meh. Uh, I guess I'll take her. I'm ready to defend this place. I think he'd been there first. Ah, oh, well. So, what troops were remaining, if any? Yeah, got a few here. Place used up a lot of our money. Let's that's a turn there. Garden of Revelation. Sounds good. So, from what I know about this map, there's probably one of the gateways here. So, I guess this army's currently freed up to uh, explore the surroundings a little bit. would like to recruit red dragons, but I uh, would require more money in order to do so. Such is life. I've really been using this time to scout along here. Well, I guess there's still time. Get us some vision about what's going on. Yeah, you just need to go back to base. Oh, I thought I bought all the things here. Oh, no, it's... No, this is the one place that I've not bought everything. For some reason I thought it was Whistledale where I didn't have all the troops yet. That's time. Whoop. Okay. So yeah, we do have enemy forces running about. Let's go rob the bank. Snake ladies immediately attack the snake ladies. We need to stop this snake lady on snake lady violence. Oh 
on that. Well, just, yeah, they're in melee, so they're not going to be able to use their ranged attack. Should have been prioritizing these guys. I oh, never mind, worked out okay. Okay, I may have forgotten that the uh, Black Dragons do an AoE effect, and I may have fried... Oh, wow. I've only got three great... How many Greater Basilisks did I kill? Like, ten of them? That sucks. They were one of my better units. I mean, I, I, I understand that it's on me, but still, it does not feel good, man. Okay, it looks like there's a city down there, so I think that's our target. Is this just to recruit Scientors? Okay. So the person guarding this place will be the one who needs to recruit those Scientors. Genie's guarding a sawmill, Lace guarding an obelisk. We'll go this way first. Yeah, I need that XP. A race ranged? I wouldn't imagine so. Probably form a, a defensive position. I picture them mostly, you know, floating towards you. Their sinister touch. These guys aren't ranged, didn't we? Where did I put them at the back? We don't have a, we don't have a ranged attack. We need to attack them. Oh my gosh! Why am I so stupid? Oh right, we have a bunch of vampires on our side. Why am I so stupid? My spell points! I didn't realize you could just do that every turn. That sucks. I lost three vampires that I killed myself by carelessly hurling around turn undead. Armor is also a pretty good skill, I'll pick that one up. Oh, no. 
Okay, can we get the upgraded dragon kit? No, we don't have a mage gold. Heck. Okay, well maybe next turn. That's expensive, but I think it's probably going to be worth it. To uh, have defensive walls. Can we get the Mystic Pond first? Those free resources. Okay, well this place is the one most likely to be attacked. Is there anything useful we can build here? Mage Guild. Get this guy some slightly better spells. He's kind of weak. Must be all we're getting, though. This place still doesn't have all its things recruited. What am I doing with my money? Still a few turns. Alright guys, it's going to be about that time, so I think I'm going to wrap up there. Making more progress this time around. By the end of this month, I think we might be in a better position to uh, assault the enemy fortress. Stay. Yeah, thanks for watching, everyone. Hope you've enjoyed it as much as I have. Uh, I need to go get some sleep. But I'll be back tomorrow when we're going to be starting Hollow Knight in the afternoon. A new game. It'll be my uh, blind playthrough and I'm really looking forward to it. But yeah. Thanks for watching everybody. Uh, hope I'll see you all next time. Have a good night everyone.